I'm feeling a little bit better after last night's kind of shit fest with waiting for that um, parcel that never came. It rescheduled it for today and I didn't get any updates throughout today as well, so thanks UPS. Like, I understand that the weather is bad, but at least fucking tell me if you're going to deliver it. And just just to be clear, it did tell me it was going to be delivered today, but there was no actual um, tracking updates, which kind of bugged me a little bit, so yeah, slightly, slightly peeved about that. So they've now rescheduled it for tomorrow, and it's probably just going to be no updates, and it'll just reschedule it. It's going to reschedule every day until it feels like it can. So... Yeah, not really fond of that kind of tracking where it's like, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. Even though we know we not, we're not going to be able to do it tomorrow because of the weather. But we're going to do it tomorrow anyway. Oh, what's that? We'll do it the next day. Never mind. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to not vent about that anymore. But nonetheless, uh, Fortnite got an update today, but as much as I want to play that, I don't have the update downloaded. Plus, it's going to... Plus, I've been playing a lot of the game lately. Especially, like, last night. I played it as well. Like, that was all I did last night. So, I was thinking, yeah, I'll just do some Bayonetta and Mario tonight. But then, Kirby Star Allies demo, the thing that was rumoured for a little bit, dropped today. So, a couple of days earlier than expected. I think the rumour said it was supposed to drop on the 4th of March, so that was pretty close to the uh, rumour. So yeah, I'm quite excited for this. It's going to be probably like 10, 15 minutes of even that, maybe less. But it'll be fun to check out. I might replay the stage a couple of times and try to experiment with like the power-ups and stuff. Because I know you can do like different combinations. So yeah. Let's check it out. I'm not sure if it's on the American eShop yet. When I downloaded it today, it wasn't. It was on the European eShop though. But I think it'll be on the American eShop now. So feel free to check if you haven't checked yet. We can still create we can still get it if we create accounts under the UK. Yeah, if you create a European account you can get UK stuff. Right, so there are two levels. That sounds about right. So we'll just start with this. I'm using a pro controller, but it gives you the Joy-Con controls, which kind of map helps, so that's fine. Yeah, more or less controls like other Kirby games. Uh, one moment. Let me just uh, make a quick audio check. Just checking everything should be as is. Yep, everything's fine. Right, so... One thing I am going to point out, and this is something that may be a point of contention for some people, and I don't want to be a, like this framerate snob, but yes, the game does run at 30 FPS, which kind of a little bit disappointed by that for a Kirby game, because most Kirby games run at 30, even the 3DS games. But whatever, I'll just take it as it is. The game still looks really nice, though. Like, I'm running at, at like, the game's running at 1080p, uh, 30 FPS. Seems a, seems kind of odd that they prioritise the 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 resolution over the frame rate this time around, but whatever. Oh yeah, I've seen this little cinematic like when they previewed it a few weeks back. So here is the game's mecha main mechanic. Don't want to kill monsters, just make friends with them. I think Kirby's a little bit late for Valentine's Day. And this is how you make... ...your companions. I wonder if it tells you your moveset. Yeah, here we go. This is the thing I like about Kirby games, like when you pause it, it gives you like all the different movesets. Like the different functions. Oh, it even tells you how to do the combination stuff as well, that's good to know. Right. 
I take it you can't make a friend with somebody that doesn't have an ability, but we'll make a friend with him. Right, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't work on something that's got no ability. So unfortunately we cannot be friends with Waddle Dee. But we could maybe find a spear Waddle Dee if that's in this game, I'm not sure. So I will say, this game, like, other than the friend mechanic and, like, combining abilities, it does seem like this game may be on the safe side, and I think this is the point where the next Kirby game has to do something quite radical. Because I think it's getting to the point, like, Pokemon, where it's kind of stagnating a little bit, but I still love Kirby games because they're nice and simple and fun. But yeah, I'll probably enjoy this for what it is. I mean, Planet Robobot did enough different that was really, really fucking good. But this might be a step back, I'm not sure, it kind of depends on how the game plays beyond the first couple stages that the demo presents. But I can't really complain with a Kirby game, like you know me, you know I love my Kirby games. Make a friend tilt the control stick up, oh, right, okay. So this is how you combine. Just burn everything to the ground. No wonder Wispy Woods gets pissed off, like we just destroy his forest. And that's probably like the, the optional collectible of the game. Ever since uh, Triple Dogs, I think they've had like little collectibles that you can pick up. Like they're not mandatory, but it, for the 100% completion, it is something you can get. So yeah, like I said earlier, Fortnite did get an update today. I might stream that tomorrow. Tonight I wanted to do something else. As well as that might sound, considering how much I've been playing Fortnite Battle Royale recently. But it got a new gun. I can't remember what it's called, a hunter's rifle or something. It's basically a new type of rifle. Or, it's like a new sniper rifle, I think. And it also comes with a new location on the map, which I'll definitely be checking next time. We can be friends with Waddle Doo, though. Yeah, let's, let's replace him. Let's try this. Oh, that's cool. You can do more combos like that, and it has like a shockwave. So you pretty much just can combine, uh, combine? You can combine anything with anything. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, if you don't have a projectile, hang on. Can I do a projectile with mines? I guess you can only combine projectiles with your thing, because it's working with him. See, I want to get another bomb so that I can try that. Ah, I want to get him. I don't know if he's got an ability. Probably not, but those guys are being a bit of jerks, just not letting me do that. Yeah, so I'm guessing you need to hold a projectile-style weapon, like a bomber assault. Something with a tangible weapon. Give him the firebomb, right. There we go. Let's 
So I can see this all opening up options for like possible like puzzles and shit. A little bit more so than previous games because you really need to experiment with it. The problem with Kirby 64 is you could do that sort of stuff but it was very like situational like it was only like one thing in one level and you need you often needed like one power up combination that you couldn't get in that level or if you could get it in that level it was like very early on you had to go through the whole level with it. In this game when you've got four different characters you could easily kind of work around that. Oh I see right you press up to make that move up or Okay, I was pressing up there and I thought that moved up because I did that, but you're actually hitting switches. Hi Frozen Gamer. What do you think of the game so far? Um, well this is the demo, but it, it feels good, it looks good. I'm looking forward to the full game later this month. Oh yeah, you can still kiss each other. That's That's been something that's been there since Superstar. I don't know if I can swap abilities with somebody else. Because I hold up, but um, I, nobody can give me anything. I'm gonna try fire with her, but. See what's over here real quick. Right, that's probably just the way forward. Good job. There we go. Yeah, you need to be holding something physical. It took me a little while to realise that was what you had to do. So that's like the big major collectible of the, of the level then. If the small ones are anything like Robobot and Triple Deluxe, they're probably like randomised things. Like they're random and they'll just give you random pieces that eventually give you like a full picture. But the big giant ones are like, not mandatory but they're like specific to that one level, like you can't get them anywhere else. Oh, yo-yo. Let me, let me go back and get that. I could get Brawly as well. In fact, yeah, let's, let's make a Brawly friend. Oh nice. Brawly combined with the yo-yo, splash yo-yo. Okay then. A very wet yo-yo. Oh look, it's, it's uh, Wispy Woods. And this is where we just all basically tear him to pieces. You remember when Kirby games used to be extremely simple looking? Oh, what's that? I didn't, I didn't see what he did there. Like, Kirby games used to look extremely simple, like the Game Boy ones. And then you look at this and it's like the complete opposite end of the spectrum in terms of like, the visual fidelity. It's, it's pretty funny. I'm going to guess that there are multiple bosses in each world then, because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that we're going to be fighting the other boss which you may have seen in prom promotional materials. I think you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, these are purely random. Looks like fucking street pass pieces. 
I mean, I know they're meant to be jigsaw pieces, but it just reminds me of, like, the street pass thing. Where you just get random pieces and then you just put them in place. Oh, this is a trailer, right, okay. I was thinking, oh, okay, I can just continue, but... Nope. I'm just gonna skip that so that I can try the other level, because you know what? We've already... Right, cave and castle stage. Let's go. So I'm quite liking the idea so far. I'm not sure if it's going to be as diverse or interesting as... Like, what was the other game? Robobot? Yeah, Planet Robobot. Dribbly, that's a, I think that's a new character. A Chumbrella. Flash bomb. Looking for a new enemy with an elemental type so that I can uh, combine it with the yo-yo. What new ability can you not wait to try? Uh, I'm not really sure. Like, the paint one looks interesting. Spider one probably has more diverse moves. Like, a, a more diverse moveset, probably. Alright, here we go. Well, let's try this. Blizzard yo-yo attack up. And of course it's got ice elements so we can get rid of that shit. The fire. You can play this game with the control stick, but I'd much prefer just using the D-pad. Even though the Switch D-pad is a little bit small, it's perfectly usable. When the full game comes out, I'll probably just use the 8-bit door controller, because that's got a much better D-pad. Much better and much bigger. It's good for my big thumbs. I suppose I'll try Boulder then. Oh, that's not the... Yeah, notice that the drop ability thing takes a few seconds this time around. I'm not sure if that's an intentional design choice. Because in previous games you just press one button and then you drop it immediately. Apparently Final Fantasy XV has preloading on PC. That would be good if they did that, actually. Oh look, it's a Planet Robobot mech. Nice. Nice to see they've incorporated that into this game as like a reference to a past game. What's that? I'm not actually sure what that is a statue of. Uh oh it's Kirby, but he's got a... Uh, what is that? Is that like a that fish thing? Is that like the ultra sword ability from Return to Dreamland. I think that's what that is. That's what I love about the stone ability. They have like a bunch of different shit that you can look at. And I think they have like one that's like extremely rare and difficult to see. Like in Kirby Superstar there was like a Mario trophy. Oh that's cool. It's all the abilities doing the circle thing. Is that Mount Fuji? Oh there's a... Fuck what's that? thing called Box Boy or I can't remember what that's called. The thing that Hal Labs made. Ah there it is. There's the, the human statue. I'm, I know I'm wasting time but I just want to look at the different the different things. I, ju I just love the little things that the stone a bit late brings. So one for the animal bodies because that's usually one that appears. Oh there's the Mario block. There's DDD drumming, or whatever that thing was called.
Um, don't actually remember who those two are. Maybe they're from Triple Deluxe? I don't remember. Yeah, just let me indulge for a minute while I fuck around with this. That's the other one. Out of curiosity. Oh, you can save clips, right, cool. Oh, that's from Squeak Squad. The Dark Nebula. Has Squeak Squad ever had representation in the stone ability? Because I'm not actually sure. Splash curling. You know, in Pokemon logic, that would never work. Combine water with stone. There's the Robobot statue again, which hasn't appeared all that often. Hi, Angel. Oh, suddenly we're in a different place. I'm not sure if that's like... I'm not sure if this is like one big level or if it's like the demo stitching different levels together to kind of give you a more full experience. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm guessing it's just like different bits of levels. Which is probably the best way to do a demo to be honest. Instead of just being like one five minute level you get to try like a few different levels sort of stitched together. I like the fact that you were supposed to use the umbrella to kind of block the water, but you can also solve this by using the ice to sort of stop the water from da dousing the the the, the flame thingy, the th the fuse. That's pretty cool. That there's like multiple solutions. Can I put fire on that one? Guess not. Preload is 75.5 gigabytes. When does the preload begin and when is the launch day? Like at least, uh, hopefully at least give me a couple days to download it because I tried to download that fucking uh, Call of Duty free weekend thing and it took me like two and a half days to download 50 gigs. Well not two and a half days but nearly two days. Or oh, is this the friend wheel? Yeah, here it is. Suddenly getting flashbacks of Sonic e Sonic 4 Episode 2. With the fucking friendship tagging ability thing. Yeah, anyone remember Sonic 4 Episode 2? Actually, Deja, I don't think you played that. I saw you played the first one. Pilo does now launches the 6th. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be playing Final Fantasy XV that soon. But I'll probably start downloading it after the stream since I'll not be doing anything else once I'm finished streaming tonight. Don't think I'll be playing Fortnite or anything. Is there anything hidden up there? Oh, I didn't mean to turn him into that. There you go, I have that. When Kirby is defeated, there's no more Kirby's remaining. Yeah, just they're basically telling you how lives work. I 
I like the idea that there are some rooms that like um, require you to basically go in as a group because it's designed around that idea. Oh, I think I know what we're about to do now. Here comes the aforementioned fight from the promotional material, which you may or may not have seen. Wait, what? Oh, right, okay. I was like, what the fuck was he holding him for? Okay, that's cool. Actually, what were the other two there? Was one of them water? I was doing 15 on PS4 Mist, but I kind of lost interest in it. And the, the PS4 version, like on the vanilla PS4, is a little bit um, laggy at times. Like, it's a little bit jank, which is not good for combat. But overall, I just lost interest in the game, plus I was doing other games at the time. But I might revisit on PC, because I did pre-order the PC version. Might figure out who I want the others to be. Yeah, we'll replace that. Good old friend King DDD. So how many fucking Kirby games start off with you fighting a possessed King DDD or end with you fighting a ki possessed King DDD? Because this kind of feels like it's kind of it's kind of feels like a bit of a, a trope now with Kirby games. Like n not a trope? Would you call it a stereotype or something? I mean, I guess you could call it a trope. Right, here it comes. Time to get swole. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you eat nothing but fruit and veg. I mean, it's not like he's eating those fucking chips from that one Kirby episode. <laughs> Look at me, just like mid-air kicking. And yeah, I think that is a water lizard. Or a lizard wizard. I don't even know what I'm saying. Damn it, I tried to jump there. I don't even I don't know if you take damage from that. I mean I've taken no damage, I'm doing alright. I mean, this is probably like the first boss of the game, so... Don't really have anything to worry about. They say this is the hard level, but apparently this is probably early game. Like, I'm pretty sure it is. Otherwise they wouldn't have shown it in the promotional material. Like, this is probably like the first hour of the game. Of course, no Kirby game is complete without the dance. So yeah, I think the War Lizard thing is new to this game. I can't remember what it was called, Dribble or something? Or Dribbles? I wonder if in the demo you can just keep replaying it and then fill out that picture, or if it just erases after the end of the level. I guess we'll watch the trailer then since we've done both levels. So, general and first impressions, it's quite good. Not sure if it's as good as Robobot with um, that game's mechanics or like the, the gimmick to that game, but I quite like the idea. It's different enough that I can probably enjoy it. 
I thought Kirby Triple Deluxe was a little bit too samey. This feels a bit better than that still. So I think I'll be able to enjoy this game when it comes out. I never actually finished Triple Deluxe, if you can believe that. Because I think after like three worlds, I was kind of like, yeah, I've seen enough of this. Which makes me happy that Robobot was like much better than that game. Francesca. Or Francisca. I don't even know how you pronounce that word. So yeah, this is probably from the intro to the game. Not quite sure how taking over the world has got to do with giving Kirby the ability to make friends with people by tossing hearts in their face, but whatever, I'll roll with it. A grand adventure begins with new friends by our side, mix and match friends and combine their abilities to create a powerful team of four and forge a path forward. Story continues in the full version. Yep, so I'm going to be picking this up when it comes out. I'm looking forward to it. How long have I been playing this for? Wait, I've been streaming for 40 minutes? Wow. I thought it was going to be like a 10 minute affair, but there you go. So yeah, I'm into it. I'm definitely going to get the full game. I mean, there was no question that I wasn't going to get the full game, but I'm even more excited for it now. One more thing to bring up before we stop. The fucking title screen runs at 60 FPS, but the game itself runs at 30, so just putting that out there. But yeah, gonna get this anyway. <laughs> 